Hey there, language adventurers. Are you ready to unlock a treasure basket of IELTS vocabulary for speaking part three in a way that's fun and sticks in your memory? Today, we're going to combine the capabilities of ChatGPT with the power of mind mapping to do just that. Perfect for increasing your IELTS test scores or taking your English to new heights. Our journey will reveal how to power up your IELTS Part 3 vocabulary using ChatGPT and mind mapping. We will cover types of Part 3 questions, finding vocabulary to answer questions, mind mapping your vocabulary, structuring your answers, keywords and expressions for high scores. First, Let's review features of IELTS speaking. Part three. This portion of the test lasts four to five minutes and is a two-way discussion with the examiner. The questions reflect general trends in society, not your personal experiences. This focus is different from speaking part two. Questions will relate to the topic in part two. The examiner expects detailed and structured answers. So, how do we get there? First, let's understand the differences between speaking part two and speaking part three questions. In the speaking part two video, we used a sample question. Describe a place you have visited recently. You should say, when did you visit this place? Who was with you? Why was the place enjoyable? and say if you would like to go back there in the future. This relates to a place you visited, perhaps as a tourist. In part three, the questions expand on the theme of tourism with a bent towards ecotourism. The related part three. Questions of various types are about people generally and society. The questions were generated by ChatGPT from the topic for the question in part two. You can expect questions in part three of different types or categories, such as opinion, comparison, past and present, reasons, description, speculation, agree, disagree. An example of a question that asks for your opinion is, how have people's preferences for leisure activities changed in recent years? An example of a question that asks for your comparison is, which is more popular in your country, visiting natural reserves or urban recreational areas? An example of a question that asks for differences between the past and present is, how have people's attitudes towards popular tourist destinations changed over time? An example of a question that asks for your reason is, why do some individuals choose eco-friendly travel options over traditional tourist resorts? An example of a question that asks for your description is, what are some environmental benefits of promoting local tourism to lesser known beautiful places? An example of a question that asks for your speculation is, why do you think some people prefer adventure holidays to relaxing beach vacations? How do we generate questions from ChatGPT for speaking part three? Request part three questions related to a part two question topic about trends in society. Then you can request vocabulary to use in answering those questions. So how does ChatGPT speed up vocabulary learning? By identifying vocabulary related to IELTS topics. First, identify IELTS. Part three, questions. Ask ChatGPT to find speaking part three questions related to the speaking part two question topic. Questions should be in the these question categories. Opinion, description, speculation, comparison, past and present, reasons, agree, disagree. Add the speaking part two question to the prompt. To generate the most precise questions, give ChatGPT samples of speaking part three questions it can use as a model. 
the output will be question types or categories, questions organized by question type. We reviewed all these questions earlier in this video. They were generated by ChatGPT from the input of the Speaking Part 2 question, which guides the topic and the request to generate related Part 3 questions. So how does ChatGPT speed up vocabulary learning? By identifying vocabulary related to the topic of the questions. Ask ChatGPT to identify the central topic of the questions generated. The answer received was ecotourism. This topic relates to society, not only an individual. To identify vocabulary for the topic, ask ChatGPT, what is the vocabulary list needed to answer these questions for the topic ecotourism for the IELTS Speaking Part 3 test? Answer, a vocabulary list is generated. Organize vocabulary. Next, request ChatGPT to organize the vocabulary words in an outline similar to a mind map's logical view, branching off from ecotourism. Next, manually create your own mind map from the logical outline subheadings ChatGPT gives you. This is a way to connect words in a network or map. You can learn the vocabulary in related word groups. Step 1. Start with a circle in the middle and write ecotourism inside. Step two, draw lines out to new words like motivations, climate change, and eco-friendly sites. Take a look at the expanded mind map we've created from the outline provided by ChatGPT. This visual representation allows you to see the interrelationships and how each word is interconnected within the broader topic of ecotourism. Most importantly, you can see how to connect words together in sentences related to a central idea. Pause the video here and take a closer look at the map. Can you develop sentences from these grouped words? Write some sentences you develop in the comments below. Generate other vocabulary for other topics. You can Google these topics, transform the list into mind maps, then develop sentences from the words on the mind maps. By following these steps, you can effectively leverage ChatGPT to identify, organize, and use essential vocabulary for IELTS Part 3 questions, enhancing your vocabulary learning and preparation for the test. How can ChatGPT reveal answers? Request ChatGPT to answer the Part 3 opinion question listed below using the vocabulary it previously listed, adding discourse markers or signal words using the following structure for the answer. Suggested structures. Input one of these suggested structures in the ChatGPT prompt. Mies. Main point. Explanation. Example. Summary of main idea. Areas. Answer the question. Reason. Example. Alternative. Summarize. SIA. State main point. Example. Analyze. Here is an easy ChatGPT prompt you can copy and paste. Remember to change the topic, word for new topics. Answer IELTS speaking. Part 3. Question. What do you think motivates people to visit natural attractions rather than urban environments? Type of question. Opinion. Vocabulary to use. Vocabulary you generated for the topic ecotourism. Use special features, discourse markers, or signal words. Use structure, main point, explanation, example, summary of main idea. For our example, the model answer generated with high scoring IELTS features was main point, people are drawn to natural attractions for their peace and unique beauty. Explanation. Unlike busy cities, these places offer a chance to reconnect with nature. Example. For example, a friend chose a mountain retreat over a city break for the quiet and the chance to hike. On the other hand, 
she avoided urban trips because they felt too crowded and fast-paced. Summary. In essence, the calming effect and the attraction of the natural world often outweigh the appeal of urban environments. Let's examine the high-scoring features of this answer. This answer is great for several reasons. Vocabulary usage, the terms peace, unique beauty, and reconnect with nature are directly tied to the concept of ecotourism and illustrate a clear understanding of the topic's language. Explanation and contrast. It has effectively used the vocabulary to set up a contrast between the tranquility of natural attractions and the bustling nature of urban environments. Example with relevant vocabulary. The example of a friend choosing a mountain retreat over a city break uses vocabulary that we discussed, like retreat, which is often associated with eco-friendly travel, and hike, an activity synonymous with natural tourism. Discourse, markers, and vocabulary. Use of on the other hand is a good discourse marker that adds complexity to the answer showing the ability to compare and contrast ideas fluidly. Summary with key vocabulary. The summary nicely ties back to the ecotourism theme, mentioning the calming effect and attraction of the natural world, which are phrases that resonate with the vocabulary around natural attractions and their impact. The words chosen reflect a good grasp of the language related to questions topic and show your ability to use vocabulary to construct coherent answers that align well with the IELTS Speaking Part 3 criteria. You can review the answers. Notice the use of verb tenses. We use the present tense to talk about facts and the past tense when telling a story, as well as other grammatical details. Now you should try answering some of the remaining questions with the vocabulary. Ask ChatGPT to correct the grammar of your sentences. Learn from the corrections it makes. Here are some signal words or discourse markers that are useful to practice for building coherence and clarity. You can pause the video and take a screenshot. Here is an example of how these signal words can be used in a structured answer. Question. Agree. Disagree. Do you agree or disagree that environmental considerations are becoming a more important factor in people's choice of vacation destinations? I certainly believe that environmental considerations are indeed becoming a key factor in selecting vacation spots. Furthermore, this shift is due to a growing awareness of sustainability and the impact of travel on the planet. For instance, more tourists are preferring eco-lodges that promote conservation over luxury hotels and that are less environmentally conscious. Clearly, people are increasingly factoring in the environmental impact when planning their travels. A well-structured answer can be given in about 30 seconds, leaving plenty of time to answer more questions. To discuss the provided speaking part three questions effectively, a range of essential vocabulary would be beneficial for IELTS candidates. Here is a list of vocabulary and phrases that could be used to answer each question type, opinion, perspective, viewpoint, stance, consider, believe, opine, description, depict, portray, characterize, detail, outline, describe, speculation, hypothesize, predict, foresee, speculate, Anticipate, potential. Comparison, contrast, compare, differentiate. Similarities, differences, versus. Past and present. Historically, previously, currently, evolution, changes, trends. Reasons, factors, causes, reasons, motivations, influences, due to. Agree, disagree. Concur, agree, align, disagree, refute, challenge, oppose. Look for ways to use these words accurately in complete sentences related to any topic. ChatGPT can help. Here is a list of vocabulary 
and phrases that could be used to start answering each question type. For an opinion question, my viewpoint is that, in my opinion, I personally believe that, from my perspective, for a description question. To paint a picture, one could describe this as envisioning it, I would say, for a speculation question. It's conceivable that one might speculate that looking ahead, one can imagine for a comparison question. Comparatively speaking, comparing the two, when we contrast this with if we examine the differences between for a past present question, reflecting on the past, historically speaking, today, unlike in the past, for a reason question. The reason for this is this can be attributed to, one may argue, the cause is for an agree, disagree. Question. I agree with this notion because I disagree with this viewpoint since while some might agree, I tend to feel in the description to this video, you will see some questions in the comments say what type of questions they are, whether opinion or description or speculation or comparison, past and present, or agree-disagree. Now your learning begins. Use one of the structure templates. Develop answers to the remaining questions. Write many sentences with words that are grouped on the mind map for the topic of tourism or ecotourism. Ask ChatGPT to correct the grammar of your written sentences. Learn from the corrections it makes. Write many sentences with words that are generated and mind mapped for other topics. To practice daily, have fun mind mapping your way. Utilize mind maps to visually organize and reinforce new terms. This technique will not only aid memorization, but also help you see the connections between concepts. Develop sentences. Generate vocabulary for questions with ChatGPT. Write your sentences. Check grammar accuracy with ChatGPT. Speak with confidence. Practice speaking your answers in a structured way. Speak for approximately 30 seconds per question. Use structures to organize answers. Record your speaking practice, review, and improve. With ChatGPT and mind maps, you're set to impress your IELTS examiners. Any questions? Leave them in the comments for this video. Did you benefit from this video? If the answer is yes, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. More videos are on their way. If you did not like this video, please let me know how it could be improved for your IELTS preparation. Thank you for watching. If you have questions or need clarification on applying these techniques, especially regarding the IELTS criteria, leave your questions below. I'm here to support your journey to IELTS success. If you would like one-to-one -one coaching, then visit verbling.com teachers Marie.